So the story begins in the late 1990s when it seemed like you could get any kite you wanted all the time. And I had a Professor Walda kite, which I sold. And I've regretted that ever since. Fast forward to 2021, and there's this pandemic thing. And I thought, well, this is a good time to make one. And so we did. This is a Professor Waldorf kite from plans that I found online. And I altered the plans so that the spars would be 30 inches. And then I could use carbon fiber from aero shafts. A 3D printer came in handy for the middle two halves of that sandwich there for the hub. So it's a plywood, 3D printed, 3D printed plywood sandwich. And that works quite spectacularly for holding the spars in the perfect radial orientation. Some lightweight ripstop nylon, compliments of Amazon and Emma Kites. And 3D printed end caps for each of the ends of the carbon fiber spars. So at each end of the spar what we did was uh, protect the carbon fiber from chipping or braiding or cutting through the the nylon. So what we have here today was more than enough wind just a moment ago but of course now barely enough wind. But let's see if it flies. And of course the wind died. But give it a moment. Now let's attach a little bit of line to the bridle so we had at least a successful first bit of flight. So with a bit of turbulence, it's a tricky flyer, but overall, especially given the blustery conditions today, I'm quite happy. So if you're a kite enthusiast and you've thought about making a kite, you need one of these. <laughs> 